What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. Today's episode, I'm very excited because I received a very special package from Aqua Biomix. Okay, so there's been a lot of talk on the internet about the microbiome of your reef tank. What type of bacteria is actually inside your reef tank and what are they doing? We know that there's beneficial bacteria in our reef tank, but there's also the bad bacteria as well. And Aquabiomics has a test now that can test for that. And right now they're collecting samples so they can build up their database. So it's all brand new uh, research. So there's a microbiome test and this will test uh, your microbial community to test your pathogens, test for your beneficial bacteria, your bad guys, um, your nitrifiers, and so on. Then you have your tank DNA. So the tank DNA will test for common parasites um, and diseases of saltwater fish. It can tell you a lot with what's going on in your water column. So I'm excited to do these tests. We're gonna uh, open these up, do each test, send them out, and then when the results come in, we'll take a look at those as well. Okay, so here are the two test kits from Aquabiomics. You have the microbiome and the tank DNA. So I got started with the tank DNA test first. Upon opening the test kit, you'll notice the instructions and it says right away to thoroughly read the instructions. And I read them over a few times and had them laying out as I was doing the test. So you want to make sure you wash your hands thoroughly when doing this test and then once you've washed your hands you can open up the pair of gloves that's included and then go ahead and put those gloves on. Now included in your DNA sample box you have of course the gloves, you have the syringe for your water samples, you have the filter that you pass your water through and then you have the fixative solution that you use at the end of your test. We'll kind of go over this step by step. I'm going to speed up some of the recording because the test does take a little while to complete because as you're dripping um, each drop of your water sample with the syringe, it is a slow drip um, through uh, where the sample is collected. So. I'm going to speed up the video so that you can see the process, but when you're doing it on your own, just know that it does take a little bit to complete each test. Once you remove the syringe from the package, you want to go ahead and draw 60 milliliters of water from the upper surface of your aquarium using the syringe. And then you want to open up the filter cup and then attach the filter to the end of the syringe. This is what you're going to be pushing the water through is this little tiny filter right here. So you want to push the water through the filter very slowly and it may take 30 to 60 seconds or so to empty the syringe. So you want to make you want to make sure you discard the water at the end when it passes through the filter the DNA binds to the filter as it passes through so that's how uh, the sample is collected once they run their test when you send it in. For the DNA test, you want to repeat steps two and four twice. You want to do that two more times, basically giving you a total of three full syringes of water that passes through the filter. Now I'm sharing this step by step with you here on the channel, but be sure you read the information that you get in your test. Uh, there's also videos on the Aquabiomics website that kind of walk, walks you through the test as well. Um, it's not a difficult test by any means. It's very easy to do. Uh, you just want to make sure you read the instructions and it does take a little bit of time to complete like I've said already, but it's not difficult to do. Uh, you're basically just uh, passing a syringe of water through the filter. Um, you just want to do it step by step and make sure that you get it right. This is a very interesting test. Um, I'd be very interested to see what the results are for my aquarium as far as uh, the bacteria, the things that you can't see with your eye. So it's really cool uh, to be able to see what is going on at the, the micro level in your reef tank. So uh, 
But yeah, it's a very easy test to do. Just follow the instructions, you'll be just fine. Okay, so once you're done with the last full syringe of water, uh, you can then open up the plastic shipping tube and remove the tube of fixative solution. Now this a fixative is what you're going to use to preserve your sample. Now with the fixative solution, the lid to the tube that it was in, you can use that as sort of um, a little bowl for the fixative solution. So you pour the solution into the cap, then you can use your syringe to draw the solution up from that cap and then you're going to put the filter back on the syringe. Then you're going to very slowly push the fixative solution using the syringe through the filter so that it preserves your sample. So once you finish pushing the fixative through the filter, you can go ahead and remove that from the syringe and get it ready to go. So take the sterile sample bag. It has a very unique way of opening. You pull right here in the middle and then you can place your sample inside and then you can kind of twist it or give it a little flip rotation and you like twist it together and seal it from end to end and then that sample is ready to go. Okay, so now it's time to do the microbiome test and just like before, this test includes a pair of gloves. You have the filter that's specifically marked for this test. You have your syringe to collect your water sample and you also have a cotton swab and that's going to be used to collect a sample of the tank's biofilm and we're going to be using that a little bit later. And also included in this is two things of fixatives because there's two different samples we're collecting as well as the sterile bag to put everything in at the end. Now for the microbiome test, once you remove the syringe from the packaging, draw up your 60 milliliters of water from the upper surface of your aquarium. Then you're gonna do a similar process. You're gonna open up the filter cup, then you're going to attach the filter to the end of your syringe, and you're gonna slowly push water from the syringe into or passing through the filter. Now this one you want to go slowly as well. Instructions say you want to go about four drops per second. So it takes approximately five minutes to empty this syringe. And then just like we did with the DNA kit, you're going to get your fixative for this sample and you're going to preserve your sample with the fixative. Then you can go ahead and open the sterile sample bag, drop your filter in the sample bag and seal that up and that one is good to go. And then the next thing we're gonna do is open the tube that contains the sterile uh, cotton swab and we're gonna remove that and get a swab sample to send off as well. So this one's real simple. You just want to swab inside some of your plumbing like a return pipe or drain line or something like that. Um, so you see me here just swabbing the inside to get a sample. Now be sure when you're getting your sample, you're getting it from a pipe that's constantly submerged. So you can turn off your uh, pumps so that you can uh, get the swab up in there. But once you're finished, uh, you then need to take the second tube of fixative, dip the swab into the fixative, then whenever you remove the swab, you gotta let it air dry for two minutes, and then you can return it back to the tube that it came from, the transport tube, and then you're ready to send off your samples. But before you actually send them off, make sure you log in to Aquabiomics and register both of your samples, so that way you can be notified when the test results have come in, so that you can re receive your email and find out what's in your water. Okay, so the tests are ready to be sent off to Aquabiomics, and once I receive the results, I'll share them all with you. I'm very excited to see the results of these tests because I'm fascinated by the world of bacteria and to actually see the diversity of bacteria within my aquarium is awesome enough, but to also see if there's any parasites or pathogens, anything in the water that's affecting the tank in a negative way 
I feel like that's going to be good to know. And upon seeing any information like that, I'm interested to see what my next steps would be. Order one, run your test. I'm interested to see uh, the future of this kind of testing in the reef aquarium hobby. Find out more information about these tests at aquabiomics.com. All the information and instructions on how to do the tests are over there. And Dr. Eli is working very hard to gather all this data from all these different tanks to take a look at the microbiome. So if you're interested in picking one up, head over to aquabiomics.com. So thank you so much if you've made it all the way to the end of this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. And I'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk. Mm -hmm.